Well, some much needed rain this weekend also brought dangerous lightning, including this lightning strike you're about to see right here. It's already happened. You see kind of like this white fireball right here. It happened in Dade City at a repair shop, so all of these are cars sitting there. Lightning actually hit one of the cars on that lot. This surveillance video is showing you what happened next. You can see that bright white spot, like I said, and then you're about to see here. That's kind of the aftermath. What's left over after everything washed away. Just a shell of a couple of cars left. Luckily, no one was inside any of those cars at the time, which brings up a good question that now Clifton French is answering for us today. Is being in a car during a lightning storm the safest place to be? This surveillance video at a Dade City auto repair shop shows the power of lightning. Flames quickly grow until firefighters knock down the blaze. The result? Four destroyed vehicles. Despite what this video shows, firefighters say your car is one of the safest places you can be when lightning strikes. Chief Sean Whited says a perfect storm caused this much damage. The car that initially caught on fire had been in a wreck. That vehicle had been damaged, and I think because of the damage from that previous storm vehicle accident is what helped cause that car to catch fire. The National Weather Service suggests going to your car if there isn't a substantial building with wiring and plumbing. But NWS says it also depends on what kind of vehicle you're in. They say make sure that you have a hard top and that your windows are up. While the car should protect you from the lightning itself, it can still do a significant amount of damage. Most of the time, electronics get fried, and the back windshield can shatter from a current traveling through the defrost wiring. If you're driving and you're in your vehicle, safely pull off the side of the road and, and stay in your vehicle as long as you can, as long as there's no damage or anything. You're going to have to have it probably checked by a mechanic. On rare occasions, fires do happen, but officials still say your vehicle is much safer than staying outside. Only 7% of lightning strikes um, hit a moving vehicle or a vehicle, so um, it's a very low percentage. It's just a, a freak uh, thing that happened last night. For the now Tampa Bay, I'm Clifton French.